Hi, everyone. Anthony Morganti here. Those of you that follow me know that I do not heavily edit my portraits. Uh, my portrait editing usually consists of removing transitory items like pimples and dry skin and things like that. And one thing I have never done is I've never changed the tint or color of a person's skin. And to tell you the truth, I've never been asked by anyone to change the tint or color of their skin until recently. Uh, recently, someone asked me if I could give them a tan. And actually, I've been asked that question in the past, but it's usually in jest. People just are self-conscious and they feel they're a little pale and they say, oh, could you give me a tan? And then they laugh it off. Well, this person seriously wanted me to give them a more healthy look to their skin, at least what they considered to be more healthy look. I did, and it's actually very easy to do in Lightroom with Lightroom's new masking, and that's what we're going to be covering today. Now, this isn't the person, and this isn't one of the images I took. This is a stock photo. I do not have permission from that person to use their photographs in one of my videos. So we're going to use this image here. Now, to do it, I mentioned we would use the new masking in Lightroom. So we're going to open up the masking. And if you saw uh, any of my previous videos, or at least the specific previous video I did, where I talked about a problem I'm having with Lightroom's people masking, it came down to that this comment is most prevalent for those of us that use AMD Radeon Pro 5700 XT graphics cards. If you have that graphics card, you are likely experiencing the same problem. And it's more common when you have an image with more than one person in it, in that um, it doesn't find all the people. When you have an image with one person in it, it just doesn't work as well. You can see if I hover over here, it thinks that everything is the person. Well, it temporarily thinks that everyone is the per everything is the person. If I click on this, uh, you'll see that it breaks it down and I could get the facial skin of the person and the body skin of the person, although it doesn't have all of her body skin. So that's what you want to do is you want to use people mask and then you want to select the facial skin and the body skin. You don't need to select anything else here. So you just select those two and you click create mask. Now, as I mentioned, it missed part of her body. So we're going to have to add to this mask. We'll click the plus button right here or the add button. And we're going to add with a brush. And I want to have auto mask on uh, so that when I'm around the edge of her shoulder here, it doesn't bleed off into the background. And I want to make sure that flow and density are both at 100. And I'll get a brush and I'll come in here and do her shoulder first. And with auto mask on, you can see how it's a little blotchy, but that's okay for this instance. It's not going to hurt anything. Now, when you get around her hair, you want to use that auto mask as well. Though over here, I'm actually doing a horrible job. But for this demonstration, this will be fine. Even if I get some of her hair, since her hair, she's a blonde, what I'm going to do actually won't be noticeable. So I'll come in and do here. When you're in here, you could take auto mask off when you're not near an edge and you could get a better job painting, turn auto mask back on when you're around. Oops, something like hair. And we'll get her shoulder out here in the distance. All right, so now we have a better selection of all the skin that is visible in this image. And what we're going to use, and you probably guessed because I have it open, is the curve or the tone curve to do this. And this is super easy to do. What you want to do first is go to the blue curve uh, to the image. So what you need to do is after you have all the skin selected of the person, go to the blue curve go to the top right hand corner of the diagonal line and just pull it down. And you can see, I'll just overdo it. You can see how it's adding that yellow to her skin. And if you notice, those of you not familiar with tone curves, top left hand corner of this rectangle or this box, I should say, is blue and the lower right hand corner is yellow. That's implying if I take anything and drag it towards the blue, we'll add blue. If I drag, drag it towards the yellow, we'll add yellow. So what we want to do is add a little bit of yellow and I'll overdo it just slightly. Then what you want to do is you want to go to the red uh, tone curve right here. This is this one right here. And we want to add a little bit of red to it. Now this is the one that you have to be careful of because it's easy to overdo it. What I typically do is I'd go right in the middle here 
and I just push it up towards red. You could see how we have red in the top left hand corner and cyan in the lower right hand corner. We'll just push it up a little bit. You don't want to go too far. You'll start giving her a sunburn. Um, what you can do to micro adjust this, you could see I'm pushing in the alt or option key. It's option key on a Mac, alt key on a PC. And this will give you a more precise adjustment. So if I don't have that button pushed in, I could push this very easily. If I have that alt or option button pushed in, you can see how it just goes really very, very little bit. So that will help you maybe get a more fine adjustment. So I'm going to reset this specific channel, put that point right back in the middle, and then I'm just going to push it up just a touch, just to give her a little bit of red in her skin. And we're actually done. So I'll give you a before after. There's before. And there's after. There's before. And there's after. And it's as easy as that. And you can see uh, where I sloppily painted the mask around her hair. That's not affecting really the image adversely at all. So that's it. That's how you would add uh, just a tan uh, to someone's skin. If you ever get asked to do it, you're able to do it very easily in Lightroom. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.